welcome to craft for this week. I hope that you were able to get your hands on a few of the things that you'll need for today. And if you weren't, no trouble, you've still got a couple of days before Mother's Day, all right? So let's get stuck into it. Today, uh, actually, let's make a little disclaimer. If you are a mother and your child is making something for you from this video, can you leave the room now, please? <laughs> I'll give you just a few seconds. Are they gone? <laughs> That's all right. Uh, all right, let's get stuck, stuck into it. Today, we're making a flower vase for your mother. Well, I'm not making one for your mother. You're going to be making one for your mother because you know your mother better than anybody, okay? So it's not about what I know about your mother. It's about what you know about your mother and the things she likes and the, the things that are going to make her the happiest on Sunday. Okay, so today's Friday, tomorrow is Saturday, the next day is Sunday, which is Mother's Day. All right, let's get started. Today I'm using my baked beans tin. Because it's already got the design on the logo, you'll want to probably take that label off so that it's not your parents or your mother isn't seeing your beautiful design and then reading baked beans in the middle of a tree or something, okay? I say okay a lot. Sorry, I'm working on that. So, you'll take, take the label off. If it's a bit difficult to get the label off, just wet it with a bit of water and it'll come off pretty easily um, without too many dramas. <laughs> Alright. So, got my tin. I can get rid of the mess though, can't I? So, I've got our tin. The next thing we need to do is measure the paper that we're going to design to put onto our flower vase. Okay, so you'll start with your tin, stand it up nice and straight. Then you're going to place your piece of paper just next to it. Now you don't want it to go quite to the very top because later on when you put flowers and plants and things in there, you don't want it to get wet from the very top. So just before the top, maybe, maybe just a little bit underneath, not too far though, you'll take a texter and you'll make a mark. Try not to throw your text a little too far. You'll make a mark on your piece of paper, okay? Just a little one, just so you can see it. Then you're going to have to find out how far it is to go around your, your jar or your tin, okay? And the way we do that is we roll it all the way around, okay? Now, and where it meets, you're going to make a mark, but you probably want a little bit extra paper so that it, it definitely overlaps and so that there's no, there's no bare spots on it, okay? So when you take that off, oh, I've got a few extra marks on this from where I tried it before. So you've got your mark here for how tall it is, and you've got your mark down here for how far it is around the outside of your jar. And what you're going to do is use something fairly straight, okay? This doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to use the edge of this one. And you're going to make a line this way and then that way. Okay, and that is there going to be around about the size of the piece of paper that you're going to decorate. So then we'll cut it. I have my super duper scissors here and we'll cut. Remember, always cut away from your body and try and cut in a nice straight line, okay? Nice and balanced. If you're sitting up nice and straight, you'll be nice and balanced when you do your cutting, okay? Now, we won't need this for now, okay? But don't throw it out in case you need to redo this. Now here you've got your piece of paper and that's going to be around about the right size to fit straight over the top of your tin or your jar or whatever you're using. I'll just say tin from now on. Uh, 
So now you get to decorate this, okay? So there's a, you can decorate it however you'd like. Uh, I'm going to start by drawing a couple of flowers and, uh, and maybe a couple of trees because that's what my mother likes. So I'm going to use a texture to do the outline and then I'm going to fill in the picture using the water paints, okay? You can use whatever you have or whatever you think your mother would like. Now I hope you'll take a bit more care with yours, but uh, I'm do doing this just as a demonstration. I'll be able to show you the actual one that I will be sending to my mother later on. So now we're going to use a little bit of watercolour to decorate this one. Okay, so I've got my little jar of water. Thank you to my lovely wife to help me stay well organised. And let's see, what colours am I going to do? I'll do a bit of red, I think. Nice. And then I'll do a bit of blue. Lovely. And maybe we can put this into a, a bit of a time lapse. Mm. That's what we should have done. That's okay. Won't be too long. So we'll decorate. Da di da di da. And we'll add a little bit of orange. Because my mother has beautiful orange hair just like me and and there we have our beautiful decorated design for our tin and now we get to stick it on because i've used water paint i'll need to let that dry before i stick it onto my tin okay if you try and put it on too early it'll just run everywhere so Give it a bit of time, let it settle, and then you'll be able to stick it on later. So I'll see you soon when it's time to stick it on. Okay, so we're back, and now that my beautiful water painting design has dried, we've given it about half an hour. Might be dry for you, it might not be, it's a lovely day. Uh, it is now time to stick it onto our tin. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a little bit of regular paper glue and then we're going to use sticky tape to finalize um, sticking it on there. So we'll start with just a small amount of glue on both of the back of the edges. Okay. And then being very careful slowly wrap your tin <laughs> sorry that's the, the in-house audience that we've got here so we're going to slowly wrap your tin okay and suddenly you've gone from having a regular baked beans tin to a beautiful flower vase for your mother that's not quite finished yet we're now going to take some sticky tape, okay, or whatever you've got, and we're just going to shore up the uh, sticking this one straight onto the tin, okay? So just little bits at a time. Make sure that your make sure that your design is really tight around the tin so that you don't have too much wrinkly design going on. Okay. Now you can, you can go ahead and put sticky tape all the way around the top as well so that you don't get too much water leaking straight down into your vase. If you've used a tin, just be careful, it might be sharp just on the inside as well. Oop. 
careful you don't stick your fingers together or anything. Broom. So there you have our very own flower vase for my mother. I can't wait to see yours. I guess the only thing that's left to do is to go and find some nice flowers or leaves or things in your garden or around your house that your mother might like as a present. And you can keep updating it all the time. So it's a present for now and it's a present for whenever you would like to update it, okay? So let's go and find some things in the garden. So there you have the final product for our craft this week. I hope your mothers enjoy it. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. You do a magnificent job and the world would not be the same without you, let's face it. So happy Mother's Day, enjoy your weekend, you've earned it. See you next week everybody, bye.